remember a time before the great quake. Before the climate refugees called FEMA camps home. Before the labor laws and infertilization program. They called her the lone survivor, the savior of the refugees. But I called her mom. This is life on the changing earth. Wow! I know, right? I guess the birds had a hand in this. Because there sure are a lot of them. This is unbelievable! Look at all the trees! And the grass! It's a floating jungle! Is anyone else here? Not that we've found so far. But this place is huge. And any of the doors we have found, they've been locked from the inside. I don't think we should stay here too long. Why not, Mom? It's like paradise. I just don't know. It feels wrong. And how long do you think it will take that helicopter to find it? How far have we floated from the shoreline? I can't even see it anymore. Slow down, Erica. There's nothing we can do about it now. There's food and water here. Even vending machines. Who knows what else we can find? I need some time to repair the boat if we want to make it back to the coastline. Plus, we really need to recuperate. I know you hate the ocean, but I don't see what choice we have right now. <sighs> She's right about the helicopter though, Dad. Is that a Snickers? I didn't think I'd ever see one again. Yup, I told you, vending machines, they're still full. Here you go. Mmm, it's a little grayer than I remember. That's because it's like 10 years old, babe. Is it still good? It's good. Mmm. A little crunchier, but so freaking yummy. If the helicopter comes by, we'll deal with that then. But right now, we have no choice. We need food and a couple days to get ourselves and our boat back together. Look at Daniel, for God's sakes. Dad's right. Trust me. I'm the last one that wants to spend any time out here. But, Dad's right. Let's focus on the basics first. I'll pitch camp. I already have a great place picked. I'll get wood. Where do you have picked out, Dex? Gun turrets still stick out. We can put a tarp over one and voila, camp. Let's just use that little covered area by the locked door we found. It will be easier to set up and there's more room to spread out. Come on, Dad. They're not that high. I'll get it done. What if there's someone down there and they come out the door? No one is down there, Dex. Would vending machines still be full if anyone was on the ship? I don't think so. Fine. I'll help you with Daniel. What about the control room, Dad? That door was locked, too. I bet we could break one of those windows and get in there. I don't know, Dex. This is a battleship. I bet that's some thick glass. And we're gonna lose our light soon. Let's just set up for tonight, and we can always check it out in the morning. Okay. We we are in this together, so give help to someone in need. We can, we can live for each other, there's strength in our love to believe. We will, we will make this land better, we'll make it for you and for me. You're losing daylight, Ryan. The parts for the truck have been secured, along with reinforcements. 
Good. Put them to use. It's a hunt, sir. She's a creature of habit, just like all the other bounties. I know she's headed north, and I'm betting she's going back to her old stomping grounds. There's a small base in South Lake Tahoe. They have an airport. It would make good headquarters for your operation. Yes, sir. They're betting on you down at the pit. What do my odds look like, sir? Not good. Looks like you're going to make a lot of money when I bring her in, then. <laughs> Let me know when you hear something. Will do, sir. TJ, Susan asked to see you, sir. About what? I'm not sure, but she said it was urgent. Is Teresa okay? I don't know, sir. What do you know, Anthony? Susan asked me to come get you, TJ. I'm sorry, I didn't find out more. You are not a grunt, Anthony. Get the information and give it to me. Yes, sir. Come on, let's go find out what she wants. There's no laughter these days. Far too seldom do I get the chance to even put a smile on my face. I'm not one for strength. More and more I find myself growing passively entertained. Where's the end of all this pain? I wonder how this ship broke its moorings. And what happened to Hawaii? How is he? Not good. He wakes up less and less. I don't understand. Dexter and Star are rebounding. Mom, Dad. Hey, buddy. How you feeling? I'm okay. Here, have some water. Drink it slowly, baby. I'm so tired. I know, baby. You just rest. Slowing down, I can't move. Battle my fate, get through. Can't let go, I'm holding on. It's all I ever want. I don't know what to do, Vince. I don't know either, baby. We have to get to that medicine lady. But the boat. We're never going to make it in that thing. Storm destroyed it. Yes, we will. I'm almost done with the repairs, and then we'll just have to go for it. I don't know how much longer Daniel can hold on. Don't say that, Vince. Don't even say that. He's gonna make it. He has to. He's my baby. I know he's gonna make it. He's strong. Dad! Dad, come quick. What's up, Dexter? I think there's a boat approaching. Come on, Dad. I'll go check it out. What do you see through those binoculars, Star? Look! What am I supposed to be looking at? See that spot out there? Looks like a boat headed this way. Oh, crap. You're right. It is a pretty big boat, too. It's definitely heading this way. Good eye, Star. Dexter's the one who saw it first. Well then, great job, Dex. Now, we have to figure out what to do about it. It's obvious they have already seen this ship. Star, stay here, keep out of sight, but keep an eye on them. Dex, come with me to get Mom and our guns. Okay, Dad. Hi, this is Sarah F. Hathaway, the creator of the Changing Earth series and the voice of Erica Moore. Visit ChangingEarthSeries.com to explore the novels behind the drama and the survival knowledge behind the stories. Join the Changing Earth membership program and get one week early access to the show. We appreciate you helping the Changing Earth world go round. Visit us at www.ChangingEarthSeries.com. That's www.ChangingEarthSeries.com. Oh.
garden miles to the sea to the free The leadership in the Badlands is going to change Johnny. What are you talking about, sir? Sergeant Avery, you are not to repeat this conversation. Ever. Yes, sir. I've dug some holes I can't climb out of, Johnny. I understand, sir. When I find Erica, I'm taking her back to the northern region, and you're staying here. What? Why wouldn't you want me to go with you? Don't question my orders, Johnny. Yes, sir. Avery, look out! Holy shit! That guy's an RPG! Johnny, Avery, are you okay? I'm good, sir. Do you have your pistol? Yes, sir. Kill them all or they will kill you. Yes, sir. Stay alert, boys. They might have... Ah! They're alive? Johnny, behind you. Thank you, Burgess. We need to get Avery out of here right now. Avery, can you hear me? Uh, yes, sir. Are you hurt? My arm is busted, sir. Hang tight. We're going to get you out of here. I'll get the pry bar. Do it quickly. That's it, Johnny. And we got you. I'm going to strap your arm to your body for now. When we get someplace safe, we can splint it. Vigil, sir, how nice to see you. It's been a while. That means people have been doing their jobs. So, then why are you here, sir? I'm asking myself the same question. Where's Susan? In her office, sir. Thanks. What are you doing sending Anthony for me with no information? TJ, I... Is Teresa okay? Yes, TJ. Then what is going on? The Chattanooga city sector has been constantly missing their quotas. Cut their rations. We did that. They're getting help from somewhere. The Texas militia? We think so, TJ. If they can sway the people, they may try to take the city. This is not what I need right now. I know, TJ. That's why I wanted to tell you myself. Technically, it's my responsibility to make sure the quotas are met, but I've done everything in my power. But not within my power. Thank you, Susan. Circled the ship. Then they saw our boat. Hello. Should we answer? No. no. We have to do something. Wait for my signal. Oh shit, it's a grappler. It hooked. We'll wait for someone to get on the line. Someone's on it. Wait. Three, two, one. Hold it right there. Let's not be hasty. Maybe you didn't notice the rifle on you. Yeah, let's not be hasty. Now slow down, lady. I've got my dot on your chest. No, it's on my chest. You better slow down. Everybody, hold on. Looks like this is a numbers game and you win. Plus, you caught me. How do you say, with my pants down? We're all friends here. What do you want here? We are merchants. I've never seen this boat here before. We just came to see where it came from. And what, you could salvage from it? Of course. That's the name of the game, right? We tried to say hello, and when no one answered, we assumed no one was here. You assumed wrong. Dex, let me handle this. So what do you want to do here? 
I can't hold this rope forever. I can either climb down and we will drive away, or I can come up so we can discuss a trade. I don't know what you have to offer that we need. Dex, that's enough. Let your dad handle this. How about a ride? Did he say a ride? What should we do? Do you need a ride? Maybe we should just kill them and take their boat. What's stopping us from killing all you and taking your boat? Mommy, can you see the big boat now? Vince, no. You see that? I'm a family man, a trader, not a threat. What about your man there? The one with the gun on me. He looks to be a fighter. Don? Don is harmless. Well, actually, he is not. But he is with me. Don, put your gun down. You too, Tony. Vince, maybe we should at least listen. Come on up, then. Let's talk. I thought we weren't supposed to trust anyone. Just relax. Think you can help me with the rope? My arms are killing me. Dex, Star, pull him up. Hello, sir. I'll let your boy hold my firearms so you know I mean no ill will. Wow, this is really something. It's a jungle up here. Ha! <laughs> nice to meet you as well, young lady. Always nice to meet a friendly face. Not too many of them left nowadays, are there? No, sir, there isn't. Okay, so now what? How about telling me your name, sir? We can start there. I, um... My name is Vlad. My fine bride down there is Tony. My name is Erica. And this is my husband, Vince. These are our kids, Star and Dexter. And you guys are wanted by the government. How did you know? I didn't. You just told me. I've met a lot of people in my years on this coastline, and anyone that hesitates to tell you their name usually has a reason for it. More times than not, the government is to blame. Am I right, friend? You're right. What happened? Let me guess. You took too many rations, picked up a gun, went against the landowner. We escaped from Vegas. You escaped the camp? This is truly an odd day. No wonder you folks are out on this ship. How long were you in? Ten years. That's all the way back to the Great Quake. We're from California. We helped build that damn camp. This is a first for me. So now, what do you plan on doing? You gonna try to take us in for the big reward? No, 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 friend. Never have been a big supporter of overbearing rulers. I was a simple fisherman like my father and his father, but all this garbage in the water has spoiled the fish. I get by trading with the coastal refugees that have rebuilt little communities. I float peacefully with my family so I can avoid all of the mainland turmoil. What about the U.S. and Russian navies? Don't you have to answer to them? Most of the U.S. ships were taken up to the Mississippi Sea to maintain order with the states. They do have a couple ships patrolling the Pacific. They are mostly up north staring at Russian ships. Mom, we should go check on Daniel. There's something I'm missing. What is the problem? Our youngest son is very sick, and we don't know why. My wife has been studying medicinals with this woman in Reno. Did you say the medicine woman in Reno? Yes. You've heard of her? Yes, we have. That's where we're headed. I can bring up my wife. Is that okay? Yes. Burgess. In here. No, Johnny. The wreckage would be too obvious. We need to find a place in the woods where we can watch the road. There's a cove up ahead. With a hidden cliff up on a ridge. It's perfect. Big pines to hide us. Let's go. This is a good, this is a good spot for Avery over here, sir. Thanks, Johnny. Uh. Get me the same splint. We have to get his arm back together. Oh, holy fuck, that hurts. Oh, my arm. Oh, I can't move it. <laughs> get me another splint, Johnny, and all the ace bandages we have. Another splint? It's broken in two places. Oh, don't touch it. Oh, oh that hurts. That hurts. Don't. Oh. 
Oh, no, it's I not too tight. Grab me that extra t-shirt as well. What are you going to do with it? I can use it to make a sling. That's right. Put your head through the head hole. Oh, my God. Draw him through oh, the bottom of the arm. Oh. Okay, how's that? Ah, oh, it still hurts like crazy, but it's better. You just chill. What do you see out there, Johnny? I don't see anyone out at the road. We can't risk going back out there. What are we going to do? The nearest outpost is hundreds of miles away, and all we have are our personal emergency kits. Major, there's movement out there. Two vehicles on the road. They're going slow, and there's a group of five fighters walking along the road. Are they wearing militia markers? No, sir. Let me see. They don't have black uniforms. Who do you think they are? I don't know. Let's stay hidden until nightfall. We can move in night vision, and hopefully they can Jane Austen, otherwise known as Survivor Jane, and the voice of Dolores Chapman. I'd like to invite you to my website, SurvivorJane.com, where I write in a conversational tone on topics of how better to prepare yourself and family. You can also find links to my books, What Could Possibly Go Wrong, Emergency Survival Hygiene, and my game book, Puzzling Over Preparedness. You can also find information on Prepper Camp, the largest three-day preparedness event in the country every fall, hosted by myself and my husband, Rick Austin. I can't say if I tried enough. I can't tell if I want to Danny, how you doing? Oh, Mom. Hi, baby. This is Tony. She came to help. Okay. Is he always this sweaty and clammy? Since we got here a couple of days ago. He doesn't have a fever. His blood pressure is a little high, but not dangerously. Has he had any past medical problems? No. He's always been totally healthy. You didn't eat any fish, did you? God, no. I didn't even see any except dead ones by the shore. <laughs> You'd be surprised. The starving idiots sometimes eat anything. Makes them very sick. I bet. We were eating our leather at one point. But I'd still eat that over those nasty fish. I'm going to make him a tummy soothing tea for him to drink. He's been drinking and eating, right? Yeah, a little when he's awake. I've had to mush up the big chunks smaller and smaller. And he's been going to the bathroom? Yeah, but not very much, though. We were really dehydrated, and we thought he would come around like we all did, but he didn't. Don't worry, Mama. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Hit it. <laughs> Ready? Nice hit. Mom, Dexter taught me to play baseball with a mango. Except he hit it so hard, it exploded all over the place. Come on, Dexter. Those goofballs. Why don't you go be a goofball, too? Really, Mom? Yeah, there's nothing you can do here. We'll start dinner in a little while. I love you, Mom. You too, little bro. Do you have any water? Here. Bottled water? My husband would die for this. He would be the talk of the trading circle. We found it here. I'm sure Vlad can have some. We can only carry so much once we get off this ship. What's in that tea? It's a mixture of filled mint, pineapple weed, and wild ginger. Pineapple weed? Isn't that wild chamomile? Yeah, it is. I'm impressed. I used to study a little bit about it before the quake. I learned a little more from a woman I knew in Vegas. I was 16, living in Seattle when the quake hit. I was sucked out to sea, clinging to debris. I floated for days, but then Vlad arrived and pulled me out of the water. The little one is hungry. I didn't know you had two sons. This is baby George. 
How about you, Mom? You ready for some dinner? You can call me a lot of things, but don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> Come on, Miss Late for Dinner. Found some new friends that we met while we were there. And now we left around the fire that we share. DJ, I have been looking everywhere for you. I've been here all afternoon. I came to tell you some wonderful news. What's that, Yuri? Trent has installed the chain system for the pit. It is time for Malek to face his fate. It is going to be awesome. That's good. DJ, the man tried to kill you and take over your operation. Would you not love to watch him die? He's already broken anyhow. Didn't have much backbone after all. What is wrong with you, DJ? It will be epic party. Because of bounties for Henderson? Yes, and now Chattanooga's production is slipping, and they may be trading with the Texas militia. What? And you are here? Heating a bag? Let's go and beat them until they remember who they belong to. I have to stay to direct the tracking teams. Isn't Mr. Lee here? Come on. We can go beat the streets and work out all your frustrations. That does sound like a good idea, and someone's going to have to do it. Someone is going to have to do what? Sergey, Chattanooga is underproducing and possibly trading with Texas. We have to go down there. It's probably all partying they do, with the horse coming through town. Regardless, their production numbers are down, and they grow fat while their rations are cut. TJ, you cannot go there now. What about the tracking teams? Sergey, you don't tell me my business. This will be just like you, right when there is work to be done. You and Yuri decide it's time to party. Sergey, you better shut your mouth before I shut it for you. No, TJ. I am tired of working all the time while you two flutter about. Nobody said you can't come with us. You chose to be the trainer. No, you and him put me in this position. When you refuse to do it. You want to keep talking? Come on, TJ. Just freaking try it. What in the hell is going on out here? Sarge, oh. TJ, in my office now! Now! Damn it, TJ. Are you gonna make me say it? Mr. Lee, this freaking- TJ, sit down. Explain to me what's going on. Sergey doesn't want to train the grunts anymore. That is not true. That's what you just said. I said there are two important hunts going on right now, and you couldn't leave. Oh, really? And where are you going, TJ? South, Mr. Lee. Susan has tried everything to get Chattanooga's numbers on track, and despite the limited rations, they survive. I thought we had that locked down. How are they getting food? She's worried it's from the militias. Oh, and you want to go down there to straighten things out, huh? Yes, sir. No, uh, come to think of it, that's not a bad idea. You could pick up some more quality fighters for the big event with Malik. But, sir, he... Serge, stop. You are going to go with him to protect him. Sir, I... Serge? Yes, sir, Mr. Lee. Now... Both y'all get out of my office and stop acting like children. Yes, sir. sir. Just great, TJ. Now, I have to go traipsing around the countryside with you and my idiot brother. I thought you wanted to get out more. I will go pack my things. 
Are we going? We're going. Mr. Lee liked the idea and said we should bring home some meat for the pit. <laughs> That's a great idea. He always comes up with the best ideas. Well, then you should love this one. What, oh, TJ? Sergey is coming with us. What? He is like giant rock in mud. A stick in the mud. Exactly. Be ready to go in the morning. Sounds like you had a restless night. He was in a lot of pain. We need to get him to Dolores in Reno as soon as we can. That's where we were headed before the storm. Do you think she would turn us in? No, she's a sympathizer. She will help you and she has the equipment to do so. If it were my son, that's where I would be headed. Shh. The fog is too thick for them to see us. We must not be too far out to sea. Eventually they'll find the ship. And we do not want to be here when they do. But that moment is not now, and I have a surprise for you. What? Come on, breakfast will be ready. These are unusual days. We're finding ourselves in a whole other life. Oh my heavenly father above, is that bacon I smell? Surprise! Oh, how I love you. <laughs> I thought you would like that. Good morning, babe. We heard a chopper out there. They're still looking. Still? After breakfast, it is time to go, Vlad. I want to stay. It is so wonderful here. It won't be once the soldiers find it. She is right, Boris. The morning fog will lift and it is too great a risk staying here. We will give you a ride to the closest walk to Dolores's. Thanks, Vlad. We'll help you load whatever you want from the ship. We just need supplies to make it to Dolores's. And a little something to trade for her services, friend. Of course. She is fair lady. It will not be much. Let's get to it. The sooner we get the boat loaded, the sooner we can get Daniel help. We are, we are in this together. So give help to someone in need. We can, we can live for each other. There's strength and I love to believe. Hey fellow Patriots, Bravo Echo here. Are you paying attention to what is happening in our great nation? Are you prepared? If not, come see us at HopeForSurvival.com. That's HopeForSurvival.com. Be safe and be blessed. Ah, I can't, Major. I'm sorry. I can't go any further. We haven't seen them in a day. It will be easier for him to walk out at the road. No, I have to rest. You can leave me, but I really have to rest. You need that arm set by somebody who knows what they're doing. Sir, there's a little cabin back in the woods over there. Want me to check it out? Okay, look for any signs of recent use. Yes, sir. Don't worry, Avery. We'll figure something out. Looks great, sir. Lots of cobwebs and mouse poop. Perfect. Don't go in there. We don't want any trouble, mister, but I will shoot you if I have to. Huh. There's a lot of people tracking you. Are you sure you want to risk discharging a weapon? That's the only thing keeping you alive right now. Why do you think I'm here now? I don't know. Why are you here? Your friend is hurt. He is. You're mercenary soldiers, but your reputation precedes you, Major Virgis. And you are? I'm the man who's going to help your friends and feed you dinner. Sounds like the best offer we've had in a while. Follow me. When I started it all, I had hit a wall, but it was different than the times before. You live in a cave? Yep. Put your friend on the cot over there by the fire. There's food in that pot next to the fire and water over by the door. Thank you for your hospitality. How long you fellows been out there? About four days now. 
don't. Oh. This was a good wrap, but only a temporary fix. I think you're going to want to drink some of this whiskey before we do what we got to do to that arm. Thanks. But could we skip that part? You want to be able to use your arm again? I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. Give me the whiskey. Where are we? The middle of Utah. No one comes out here, and that's the way I want to keep it. You can rest for a couple of days, but then you need to go. We'll be gone long before them. We have a long journey ahead of us. What's your name, son? Sergeant Avery, sir. You are going to earn your stripes on this mission, Sergeant Avery. When I started it all. This is beautiful, Vlad. So luxurious. Are you kidding? The man has it stacked end to end with his merchandise. Always better to have too much than not enough, Bear. Did you modify it with the sale? You bet I did. It's sturdy and efficient. Come check it out, Dexter. We even have a hot tub. Sturdy and efficient? I mean, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. We kept the hot tub. I can't believe they built boats as beautiful as this. I'm just happy we found it. Come on, I'll show you your rooms. We only have two available rooms, so Vince and Erica, you can take this one, and Dex and Star, you can have this one. Thank you, Tony. You can get freshened up before dinner. We'll be to the coast by morning. These are much nicer accommodations than on our boat. Baby, are you okay? I can't do this anymore, Vince. I can't live this life. I know it's hard right now, Erica. But what are we supposed to do? I know it sounds horrible, but sometimes I wish we would have never left the camp. If we hadn't left, then we'd be dead now. You know what Matthew was going to do. Can't have a blemish on his record. Do you think if we get caught, they'll kill Daniel? I think they would. Daniel can't die now. He's the main reason we were leaving anyway. He can still carry the family line. We were just lucky to get out when we did. I can't believe I let those jack-offs touch my children. It's not your fault, Vince. God knows we tried. Those fucking bastards. Who are they to decide whose family is worthy of life and whose is it? I can't believe it either. Who would vote for that? Just think how Dexter and Star must feel, having their bodies altered. To have the joy of holding your own baby stripped away from you because of some bureaucratic asshole. If I could, I would kill all those fucking doctors myself. Come here, baby. We'll figure this out, Vance. We always have before. We just have to keep going. We have to be strong for Daniel, Dex, and Star. There's not a lot to say Maybe I'm wrong Doing things my way Yeah But maybe things will be okay If I get it together And do something clever I'll make it better with you How long will you be gone? A couple of nights for sure You can stay with Susan or she can stay here, but I don't want you to stay alone. Please stop worrying about me. Not going to happen, woman. So stop suggesting such things. TJ, I... You're the closest thing I've ever had to a mother. Thank you. And I love you as a mother loves a son. You have helped heal the pain of losing my family. So, then listen when I tell you. I don't want you here alone. Susan will take care of you. Yes, TJ. Cause everything I try to hide You'd seen it in my face And all these lines against my skin I know they tell my story aloud I'll get it. Hi, Chuck. Good evening, Teresa. I'm just finishing up dinner. Would you like some? I would never say no to a chance to eat your cooking. And who's this? A gift for TJ for the night. 
Come on in and sit down. Thanks. <laughs> what a beauty you brought me. You want her in your cell? No. Just put her in the chains while we eat. What brings you by? You're headed south. I am. Have to do some cleanup. Here you boys go. Thank you, ma'am. I have a favor to ask. You know I'll bring you back more women. We could use a refresh on the stock, but this favor is not for me. Now I'm curious. There's a guy, Liberto. He makes the finest vodka. So? Yuri wants to bring him home. Why doesn't he? Liberto has ties to the militia, and they buried him deep. How do you know he's still in my lands? I don't. But if you're looking for the militia infestation, you may find him. Why didn't Yuri tell me this? He doesn't want to bother you with the trivialities. He knows you have a lot on your mind. And you're just fine with adding to that list? Of course. You can lead them all, remember? I'm starting to regret the day I told you that. You said it, my friend. Enjoy my gift and have a safe journey. Thank you, Chuck. That was wonderful, as always. You have a nice night. You too. Good night, TJ. See you in a few days. This stretcher should help us move him quicker. Are you sure the straps aren't too tight? We can't have him sliding off. What are you guys doing? We're going too. I thought you were staying. It's too dangerous for you and your children to travel with us, Vlad. It is dangerous, but... But we want to go trade with Dolores. We need more supplies, and we got some things from that ship Dolores would really appreciate. We owe her that. Plus, I wouldn't want my comrades getting lost. We'll be fine. Dexter, enough. We're taking care of ourselves before we can do it again. I agree with Dex. Although I don't think I would have put it quite that way. You guys don't have to do this. We are all able fighters and we can make it. I believe it, my friend. That is another reason why it would be better for us to travel with you. Much safer. Awesome. I'm happy to have you with us. Thanks for listening to the Changing Earth audio drama. This content is copywritten in 2023 by author Sarah F. Hathaway. Special thanks to featured musician Five Times August. Find his latest hits at fivetimesaugust.com. Get to know our amazing performers and listen to the soundtrack at changingearthseries.com. Special thanks to Zap Splat, freesound.com, and freemusicarchives.com. Find all the music and sound attributes at authorsarahfhathaway.com backslash soundtrack. Stay tuned for more of the Changing Earth Adventure.